Hello everyone and welcome to another Feed Army video. In this video, we are going to be talking about the new limitations Google has implemented as of the 3rd of October 2016. So what has changed? Normally, for example, if you have a uh, if you're a merchant and you have your products listed in the UK, you can have your visitors basically seeing your ads either just limited to the UK, but you can also allow them to be seen in a foreign country. Let's say you're traveling or you're a business person and you're going to France, Belgium or Switzerland for all that matters, you can still see the UK products. So all you do is, for example, go to google.co.uk and then search in your product name uh, or the, whatever product you want to search for and you can see the ads from in the UK. However, all of that has changed and now if you are in France you will only be able to see products that are in the, the, the merchants in French or in France so you cannot sell products anymore across the border so this is has two issues actually one you have people that travel a lot and want to buy products in the UK uh, but it's not limited to the UK of course every single country that you um, visit you will be limited to uh, being able to see only what the native country can list the second issue is that of course freelancers agencies uh, and individuals uh, who need to research uh, what the competitors are doing uh, you cannot see the ads anymore so that are two little issues or big issues that Google has implemented uh, this month now one of them can be resolved quite easily within reason uh, Google has implemented an automated conversion currency conversion feature uh, which I've already talked on how to set up and I will share a link somewhere here and in the description uh, so for mobile users uh, smartphones just click on the link in, in the description um, so what the currency conversion allows you to do is for example if you're in the UK currently you can then advertise in the US Canada Australia and Switzerland without changing your landing page or your data feed for that matter so you can use your native currency and then advertise in a foreign country now the limita limitations is that of course you know if you are a visitor uh, going to Google shopping and you type in let's say an Apple S6 or whatever they're called actually I forgot uh, what they're called but anyways uh, so an Apple smartphone um, then you can uh, see the listing for example for the native countries with let's say uh, we are in Switzerland so the currency is CHF then the Swiss, Swiss franc um, so what happens is then that of course the products are in Swiss franc but also if you're using currency conversion then in this case you will see Swiss francs and also uh, the British pounds now this causes a little bit of an issue because customers would like to buy products from the native country however because I'm mentioning this, this is actually more to reflect the, the issues that Google has introduced as of October to limit what people can see in their native country. Um, so currency conversion is one solution. Also setting up a data feed for each specific country would be uh, helpful. But obviously this is only for merchants that are interested in selling products in a foreign country um, so this does not uh, resolve issues that um, people who want to buy from a specific merchant um, if they have not listed it in a foreign country then there's nothing much you can do about it as of yet um, I think it's a negative personally um, because a lot of people like to buy from uh, a foreign country you know uh, people that, uh, for example in Saudi Arabia they would like to buy in the UK and get it delivered in Saudi Arabia that's that's perfectly possible um, and there are a lot of clients that have this uh, clientele however 
yeah, this has changed. So uh, what can you do about it? Not much. Um, there is a uh, thread, and I will link it in the description, that I've started um, to raise awareness that this is really more of a negative than a positive. Um, so if you have a time, just leave a post there because uh, I think it's, it's uh, a good thing that Google reintroduces um, as long as it benefits the majority of the people, of course. Anyways, this is uh, what I wanted to highlight. So if you have um, issues with, with not being able to list your products in a foreign country, just use currency conversion or create a dedicated data feed. And um, how to do that is in the description. Thank you very much for watching this video. See you next time.